have a very short and sweet video for you today. A few months ago, I was in desperate need of a new hobby. I wanted something that was gonna take my mind elsewhere. I wanted something that was gonna consume me, something methodical that I could get completely lost in, but also a hobby that I could grow and evolve with. I also desperately wanted a new tool. In the end, after doing some research and kind of looking at other makers and what they were using, I was completely intrigued with getting a scroll saw. I saw so many makers making these gorgeous wood signs and I thought that it would be a really great fit for me. I love the idea of being completely creative and the fact that I get to use another power tool was an added bonus. Because I had no idea if I was even gonna like using a scroll saw, I didn't want to invest a ton of money into this new hobby. There are a couple of handfuls of different scroll saws that are available on the market right now, ranging from $100 to a couple of thousand dollars. So the range is pretty big. I ended up going with the Wen scroll saw to start off with. And I think that you might be a little surprised at my review and my final thoughts on it. So let's get right into it. All right, so the Wen scroll saw. I ordered it online from Lowe's and it arrived within about a week or so. Let me preface this by saying I have zero experience with this tool. Never used one before, I had never even seen one in person, so I had no idea what to expect or what the learning curve would be. I honestly thought that I could pick up this Wen scroll saw when I took it out of the box and toss it across the workshop. That's strike one in my opinion. I was still hopeful though. And here are some basic parts and features on the Wen scroll saw. This is the tubing for the little air blower. Definitely a great little feature to keep the surface clean. This is the knob to change the angle of the plate. Pretty easy and self-explanatory. It's a nice feature. Not sure if I would be cutting anything on an angle like this, but again, I've never used a scroll saw, so I'm not quite sure at this point. I do really like the on and off switch. It's big and chunky and easy to find. This little knob controls the variable speed option. I love that feature as well. The WEN also has a port for a shop vac or dust extractor. I do like having the ability to take off this top plate to either get tiny pieces that fall through and a larger area to change the blade. And now, how to change the blades on the Wen scroll saw. Spoiler alert, this is the biggest issue I had with this tool. It honestly seems straightforward and easy enough, but holy crap, the blade situation is a nightmare. To access the blade, you just have to twist these little levers on the front of the saw. Then there is a knob you use to release and tighten the blade. I grabbed these double reverse Olsen blades from Amazon. I was hoping to get modified geometry blades, but those were a little bit more pricey and again, I didn't want to invest a ton of money in at this point. I think these were just under $15 for 18 blades and it comes in three different sizes. You just loosen each of the knobs, slip your blade in, then tighten it all back up. Once the blade is in place, just close up the front of the saw. When you are ready to start scrolling, you will probably need to adjust the tension on the blade. And you want the blade to be secured nice and tight and pretty taut. So if you are scrolling something completely by freehand, you can go ahead and skip this portion of the video. But here's a little trick that I learned from the amazing makers that I started following on Instagram. If you are using a picture or a file that you have purchased online, you're not gonna wanna get the glue directly onto the wood. So here is what you can do instead. Grab some painter's tape, masking tape, or even contact paper. Then you grab your little pattern. I drew this one in Illustrator as a part of my logo. This way the wood is protected from the adhesives. And now it's time to scroll. And this is where my hopes in this saw were completely diminished. As you're gonna see in the rest of this video, I have absolutely zero footage from me actually scrolling. It was such a nightmare. The blades kept breaking, the tension was completely unstable, and on top of all of that, every time a blade broke or bent or popped out of place, 
and there were many of those instances, the little knobs that secure the blade in place were completely killing my fingers. I ended up having to use a little wrench every single time I went to change or replace the blade. Ultimately, this little flower should have taken me 10 minutes to scroll and instead I was working on it for over an hour. Seven little pieces in an hour and a ton of frustration. Here is what I was left with. This is not a great use of time, and while I was able to scroll something on the when, I could see how using this machine could deter people from actually loving it. Despite hating the actual scrolling, I did want to finish the piece up to see how I'd like the entire process, so I went ahead and grabbed my rotary tool to shape up the flowers. This is a very inexpensive gadget from Amazon, and although I wasn't expecting much, this thing is really great powerful and does exactly what you need it to. Shaping your pieces really does bring your project to life, as you can see. I also love how thoughtless this type of work is. You just get lost and consumed in every piece that you're doing. Once I finished up the first flower for my logo, I went ahead and just made the other one as well. This is what they look like after they were cut on the scroll saw, shaped, sanded, and then painted. So. Would I recommend the WEN scroll saw to you? It's a really tough question and it ultimately comes down to what you want to use it for. I was able to get a taste of what the scroll saw could do and I honestly did fall in love with it. I knew that if I didn't have all of the issues I did with the blades, the blades breaking, the blades bending, all of the frustration having to change them out, I really could see myself loving this as a new hobby. The WEN scroll saw really is marketed as a beginner's scroll saw, and while I definitely am a beginner, all I wanted to do was run this right back to Lowe's and return it. Because I did fall in love with the idea of scrolling and saw the potential in this as a hobby and for work, I honestly feel like I should have just waited a little bit longer, saved some more money, and gotten into a more mid-level type scroll saw something that I could grow into but still learn on. All that being said though, I'm really thankful that I tried this new tool and I really did fall in love with everything that the scroll saw could do. Those are definitely huge positives that came from this experience despite all of the frustration, but in retrospect, I think that I would have just waited a little bit longer and invested in a better scroll saw, which I already have and I cannot wait to share my experiences with the new scroll saw because it is it's a game changer. So if you are on the fence about getting a new scroll saw or you are considering getting this WEN scroll saw, just make sure that you wait until my next video so I can share the new one that I got. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss that video. All right, friends, until next time.